everyone welcome to figure fantasy so we're here to build arisa how to use her and who are going to be her friends in the team that you're going to be forming with her so we're starting off with um looking at her skills guys so her first skill which is her attack would be it's usual for your militarist but she does have fast attack speed already which is um i think the usual level two and three would again boost her attack by 50 percent moving on to her ultimate so for her ultimate this is interesting because her initial energy here guys is a bit low it's a bit low but the trade-off is her ultimate packs a punch so attacks the current target 12 times with a hundred percent crit chance for each attack so take note you don't have it triggers 100 crit chance all you have to do is boost her crit damage and a 15 percent chance to trigger additional damage where the chance to trigger will be adjusted according to the accuracy bonus so more on that later on her build her upgrade effect guys is level two increase the damage of the ultimate by 25 percent against ignited enemies but it doesn't mean that she should be brought in an ignite team you can bring her in any team it doesn't have to be ignite but this is actually a plus when she's with an ignite team or somebody who ignites the opposing side but for her level three the number of attacks actually adds to uh, adds three so it this 12 is going to be 15 which is giving her more damage for her ultimate so if you want somebody who has a dps capability for your galatea and you know complements to your or your or complement complementary to your ignite team then therefore she is your girl guys so um what else passive is no martial arts ethics when the current target unleashes their ultimate or dies performs a counter attack that deals massive damage so beware for those who are counter attacking or if a target dies in a massive mob then she will perform a counter attack so upgrade effects are increased damage by 10 percent the counter attack also stuns the target for one second and level three increases damage by 10 each time a target is hit by a counter target will receive 25 percent increased damage from the next counter this effect stacks up to five times so imagine a big damage for her ultimate then for her passive it's built around counter attacks which Again, is also is useful for both mobs and also useful for bosses. Okay, and moving on to the last one is mind and body as one. Boost damage by 15% when there is no surrounding enemies. Upgrade effects. So increase attack by 5 and crit damage by 10 and boost damage by 25 when there, there is no enemies around. So again, she's perfect for a single target boss and she is a very good boost to dps for galatea again the only drawback i think for kit is i see that she will use her ultimate last among your figures most probably because of the initial energy of 30. definitely she's going to be squishy so that is one of her weaknesses so again just have to make sure that she survives deals a lot of damage and level her up if you can okay moving on to her parts so i haven't fully finished my design letter for her i still have to do a couple of sweeps tomorrow and moving on to her parts we have recommended parts so first and foremost i would definitely recommend for the four piece set would be attack you have to you have to she, she's an all-out attacker dps so definitely it's going to be attack you don't really need um attack speed on her because she has a devastating um ultimate um her, she, you will you will actually prize her more for ultimate than her basic attack but you also have to give her this one um 
critical damage, so plus 15. And more or less, if you can see here, you need to increase her accuracy bonus as well because of her ultimate. To trigger the additional bonus, you need more accuracy bonus. Okay, so that is it for her parts. I don't want to recommend any other build other than this. Um, I don't think she will shine with any other build. So it's definitely going to be attack and going to be critical. It's going to be well set, which is critical damage. And off to her badge. For her badge, I'm equipping her right now with Eternal Nightmare Badge, which gives her boosted attack speed. But let's go back to the gallery. And um, the couple of badges that I will recommend is also this one. So Eternal Nightmare was the first one recommendation. The next one would be Eternal Midsummer because this one will give her better accuracy and um, higher percentage to trigger more damage for her ultimate. And the last one obviously is going to be the only badge that I recommend for DPS is this one. So if you don't have the other two, Eternal Nightmare and Midsummer, you can definitely use end time ultimate badge. You can't go wrong with this because boost damage by 20% when unleashing the ultimate, stacking up to five times and lasts until the uh, battle ends. So you have three options end time night, uh, eternal nightmare, eternal midsummer, and end time ultimate. Okay, guys, so as for team composition, let's just filter this through brand because she will mostly shine with. A team of people from Galatea, particularly Ignite capable figures from Galatea. So you have this guy, Zhao Yu. Um, healer applies Ignite to every enemy on the other side. You have Ultraman, which is also good to pair with her because she he he also does a lot of DPS. Erixia is going to be for survivability. Paired with Zhao Yu, um, if you don't if you don't want to re, uh, use Erixia, you could use Akechi Matsuhide if you want additional firepower. And the other one that I'm also recommending is either Zhao Yun, because again Zhao Yun has an affinity or a synergy with Ignite because of his adornment, as you can see here. Attacks is hits ignited and it deals additional damage to 88% of Zaudian's attack. So he is there because of that adornment. But if you don't want to use Zhao Yun, you could always use this guy, Sanada Yukimura, for additional burn for your team. So again, Zhao Yu, Ultraman, Erixia, Zhao Yun, and Arisa. Swap Erixia with Akechi if you don't want to put in Erixia for more damage. And swap Sanada for Zhao Yun just in case you need a another defender or an, another figure that can apply Ignite. Okay, so that is it guys. As for my final thoughts for Arisa, she's a good addition at this point. Not a must get. But again, if you are a, a high spender and if you can spare, then yes. If you want to build your Galatea team and uh, move further the content that is exclusive for Galatea, yes, you must get her. She has a lot of DPS in her, but again, she's not a must pull at this point. Again, for low spenders and free to play, um, she is going to just get one copy then probably build her in the future but again guys she is going to be only a must pull if you're building your galatea team to move further the um, move further some of the stages that only place galatea and also if you are a high spender and if you could get her please do she has a lot of dps that could really help you out so that is it, guys. Those are my final thoughts. Thank you. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.